Hi, I'm John with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember that anytime you work on an appliance, make sure that it is unplugged or the circuit breaker is turned off so there is no chance of electrocution. We're going to show you how to install a new door handle kit for your Roper refrigerator. It's a really easy job that only requires a Phillips head screwdriver, a marking pen, a hacksaw, and a few minutes of your time. When you open the package, you'll get two new door handles. The reason why you'd be replacing the door handle kit is if the door handles are bent, broken, scratched, or missing. We're going to be replacing both the upper and lower door handles. The repair procedure is about the same. We're going to start by replacing the bottom one, the refrigerator door. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen and remove the two screws that hold the top end cap in place. Afterwards, remove the top end cap. With the upper end cap off, you can now remove the door handle. Then, remove the plastic spacer. Here's the old refrigerator handle next to the new one. When you put them side by side, you can see that the old one is actually a little shorter than the new one, so we're going to need to use a hacksaw to cut off the end just a little bit to make this fit properly. So here's the new handle. And we're going to set the old handle on top, to get the measurement, and then mark the location where the handle needs to be cut. Place the new handle on a sturdy surface, and then with a hacksaw, start cutting. Position the new refrigerator door handle in the lower end cap. Then position the plastic spacer. Then position the top end cap. Thread in and tighten the two screws that retain the top end cap. Now that the bottom door handle has been replaced, close the refrigerator door, and now we can start with the freezer door. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to loosen and remove the two screws that hold the top end cap in place. Then remove the top end cap along with the handle. Here's the old freezer door handle next to the new one. When you put them side by side, you can actually see that there's a pronounced amount of this material that's going to have to be cut off so it can fit properly. So here's the new handle, and we're going to set the old handle on top to get the measurement. And then mark the location where the handle needs to be cut. Place the new handle on a sturdy surface, and then with a hacksaw, start cutting. <coughs> Once the new freezer door handle is cut to the proper length, insert it in the lower end cap, then position the top end cap. Afterwards, thread in and tighten the two Phillips head screws. Now that the upper door handle is on, we can close the freezer door and then reconnect the power cord and your appliance should be ready for use. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com and be sure to check out our other repair videos on our website, on our Facebook page, and on our YouTube channel.